Next, I want to show you how to make a really inexpensive $1 utensil container. So I bought this cute little container in the party section and I spray painted it with two coats of white spray paint. Next, I just printed off on regular printer paper a sign that said utensils and I cut it out. Then I used a water-based Mod Podge that's supposed to be dishwasher safe and I put it on with a layer of Mod Podge. I let that completely dry and then I put a layer of Mod Podge over the top. And this is a really quick and inexpensive way that you can store your utensils. I love using hooks anywhere I can in my kitchen. I think they make a huge difference when you have a small space. So I picked up these silver hooks. They come in a pack of six for a dollar. I've had pretty good luck with Dollar Tree hooks, like these that are in this cabinet that I had the little blue containers on. I put these up several months ago and I haven't had any of these fall down, these little white hooks. So I haven't specifically tried these, but I thought these I could use to hold like kitchen oven mitts. So I'm gonna hang these up in my cabinet and see how they work. done a lot of organization videos, especially in my kitchen. And I want to go back to some of the things that I've organized for you on videos and let you know the things that are really working well for me. I feel like with these videos, I don't get to do a lot of follow-up. I think over time, you're really able to tell if something works for you and keeps you nice and organized. So under my sink, one of the best things that I did was purchase one of these large Lazy Susans from Ikea. And that is what I keep all of my cleaning supplies on. I used to have them in a caddy and literally they would just get thrown around. And this Lazy Susan has been the best thing for organizing my cleaning products. Like, yes, it does take up a lot of space, but things go right back where I need them. I can move it around if I need to get something to the back. Like, I love this system. Another thing that I did in a recent video was purchase these 50 count of cleaning microfiber towels. This has been great as well. I did move them to a magazine holder because it was a little bit more compact underneath my sink, but this is great. The kids, my husband know what rags we use for cleaning. They were getting confused. And so I like having them all the same color and they were really inexpensive to purchase. And that's been great. Also, at the beginning of the year, I decided to create a lunchbox station. And I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but it's been awesome. I put all of the kids' lunch boxes, their lunch bags, um, their water bottles, and their snacks. I may move the snacks now since I got that new drawer, but so far, this has been working out great. So I maybe we'll keep them in two spots because this really has been working out well for the kids and I don't wanna mess with a system that's already working, but they know exactly where to get all of those items before they were going, you know, all over the kitchen to find these items. So this has been a great system and it stayed, you know, consistent. This is definitely a system where I would label it because you want your kids to put the items back. Like even when they're emptying the dishwasher, they know to put their water bottles over there because it's labeled and it's nice and organized. So I didn't even clean this up before I showed it to you guys. So this shows you how well it stayed organized.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.